Hey guys, it's Miss Keaton. Um, I hope that you're having a good break. Um, I hope that you're being safe, that you're practicing social distancing, which means that you're not hanging out with your friends, um, but that you're staying six feet away from other people, you're staying home, um, trying to make sure that you are staying safe. I obviously miss you guys so much, and so I hope that seeing my face and hopefully this week getting to see other students in your class's face, that that'll kind of make um, things a little easier. So we're out for a few weeks and I wanna make sure that you're staying on top of what you need to learn. And so I brought home a couple of books um, from school that were things that we were gonna read in the coming weeks. Um, and so we're just gonna read them here and I'm gonna share them with you. So the first lesson that we're gonna have is over similes. Now remember that similes and metaphors are very similar types of figurative language. Similes use like or as to make a comparison, while metaphors do not use like or as. They say that one thing is another. Both of those comparisons are between two unlike things, two things that are very different, um, but yet they share one similarity, and that's why we're making these comparisons. Um, so I'm going to be reading a story to you, and it's going to explain similes again at the beginning and metaphors and idioms and cliches, and so it's going to go over a lot of information. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to get started. This is called Crazy Like a Box. It's a simile story, and it's by Lorreen Leedy. So the first thing is, what is a simile? A simile is a figure of speech used to compare two different things. It usually includes the words like or as. To say Joe is as hungry as a bear suggests that Joe's appetite is similar to a bear's, very big. To say that Rosa is growing like a weed compares Rosa's growth, weight, growth rate to a weed's, very fast. A simile may be an idiom, so its meaning isn't what the words actually say. If Tanisha has a face like an open book, it doesn't mean that she looks like a book. Instead, it means that she shows her feelings easily. Favorite similes may become popular sayings, such as, it's as flat as a pancake, and it's like taking candy from a baby. But a simile that's said too often may become a cliche, which means that people are tired of hearing it. It's a good idea to learn the common similes and to be careful not to overuse them. Now we're gonna get into our story. He's as still as a stone, he's out like a light, he's as snug as a bug in a rug. In the quiet forest, Rufus is sleeping like a log. He snores like a chainsaw, it's as loud as thunder. When the sun comes up, he feels as fresh as, Rufus will be as busy as a bee today. I hope he's as fast as a shooting star. He's as bright as a daisy. He looks as bright as a new pity. He looks like a million bucks. He's as quick as a wink. He runs like a deer. Rufus has a job to do, so he zips across the meadow as fast as lightning. He's like a bolt from the blue. Let's run like the wind. He's as cool as a cucumber. She's as pretty as a picture. He sneaks into Babette's yard like a thief in the night. He's as quiet as a mouse and as tricky as a box of monkeys. Babette is as innocent as a lamb. Rufus tiptoes up behind her, takes a deep breath, and starts to roar like a lion. Roar! Wow, you can fly like a bird. My heart is beating like a drum. My ears are ringing like a bell. Babette is so scared, she starts to shake like a leaf. Rufus is as mean as a snake. You look as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Rufus needs to be quick like a bunny. I hope he's as quick as a rocket. She chases after Rufus because she's as mad as a hornet. Babette is as mad as a wet hen. When she catches Rufus, he's going to cry like a baby. Rufus is as slick as a weasel. And Babette is sticking like glue. Babette grabs his tail, but he's as slippery as an eel. Rufus, why are you acting as nutty as a fruitcake? Chasing Rufus is like trying to catch a greased pig. Rufus can swim like a fish. Hurry up, Babette. You're as slow as a snail. They swim across a river that's as cold as ice. 
You're waddling like penguins. I'm as stiff as a board, Rufus. You're as slow as molasses in January, Babette. I'm as tired as a dog. You look about as happy as a wet hen. Rufus climbs into a cave that's as dark as night. It's as black as coal. It's as dark as a dungeon in here. It's as dark as the inside of a cow. She looks like a lost puppy. I'm as blonde as a bat. Finding Rufus here will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. It's as plain as the nose on your face. This is like a bad dream. He's as thin as a toothpick. Suddenly, a light shines as bright as day. Surprise! Happy birthday! Babette looks as happy as a pig in clover. She looks as happy as a clam. She's like a kid in a candy store. It's as noisy as a herd of elephants. This party is like a three-ring circus. I'm as hungry as a hippo. I'm as hungry as a horse. This is like a day in the park. Hey, Rufus, now I know why you were being so weird to get me to the party. You acted crazy like a fox. You're as smart as a whip. It was as easy as ABC. So again, most of the similes in this book are well known, but it's even more fun and creative to invent brand new similes. If you want to say that the weather is hot, think of a very hot thing, such as a campfire, a volcano, or the surface of the sun. Maybe you would write, the air feels like the burning breath of an angry dragon. Here are some simile starters to practice with. As slimy as, as useless as, messy like, amazing like, as grumpy as, as soft as, tough like, as loud as, silly like, as soft as, like eating. To create your own simile story, you just make a collection of similes you know or write new ones. Pick out your favorites, see how they might add up to a story. Um, for example, cheeks like roses or as white as a ghost and as green as grass could all be included in a story about colors. Or you could write a story first and then use familiar or original similes that fit into your storyline. If you get as busy in a bee and work like a dog, it'll be as easy as pie to write your own simile story. Don't forget to draw illustrations too. Some common sayings aren't factual. One example is as blind as a bat because bats really aren't blind. For more information about similes, you can visit www.loreenleedy.com and I'll include that in the link. I want you to hopefully go back in and watch, um, watch the story again. Write down some of the similes that were used in the story and then write down what they mean and put that in the comments. Um, you can put that right into our Google Classroom comments, that way only I can see them. Um, and you just put, if you'll put your simile um, that you choose, and you can choose more than one, um, and then tell me what it means, what you think it actually means. Because remember, in fourth, in fourth grade, you just had to identify what is a simile, what is a metaphor. But in fifth grade, the standard says that you need to be able to tell me what that simile or metaphor actually means, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the story. Um, please feel free to go back, watch it again, listen to all of those similes, and then give me some feedback. Respond back to me. Let me know that you understand what those similes mean. Another fun activity to extend this a little further would be to listen to your parents and your caregivers over this next week. Write down some of the similes that they use and share those with us because I'm sure that they're all around you. Um, and if you don't feel like they used any, then watch TV or watch Netflix, because I'm sure you are anyway, and share a simile or a metaphor from something that you've watched, okay? All right, bye guys.